What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. In this episode we're going to uh, begin our American offensive by attacking the city of Quebec and I have no howitzers to drop quick climbs. So this one should be back to the uh, more old school way of cracking open a fort. Uh, fortunately lots of their troops are either militia or they are depleted so we can we can figure this out. It's going to be a use of attacking the shoulders of the breach but also trying to spread my attack force around as around the walls as widely as possible to ensure that somewhere you without being without any sort of opposition really oh no that wait okay there's sallying because we get you get defences. Right, okay. Uh, yeah. For whatever reason when I booted this up, I was expecting an attack. But, whatever. Uh, one, two, three. Stretch the... Probably stretch the centre out a bit. So the thing is with these city defences, is that they can be really... They can be really uh, unpredictable about how they're going to exit the fort they might come out straight out the front they might come around the flank they might do all sorts of stuff so i'm probably gonna do something like this give all you guys trenches because why not and probably deploy an extra line out flat on the edges with cavalry defenses anti-cavalry defenses but expect them to uh, have to turn around and get inside the city at some point. You guys just blow a hole in the wall. Because the tra And also a big problem with these defences, defensive battles like this, is that the AI has a horrible habit of uh, running around and really really procrastinating six cavalrymen dead soon they're going to be within damn um, canister shot range there they go put a hole in that wall you can see they actually so even though I might have the, the centre of my line is my strongest position, they actually uh, the flanks are the more vulnerable parts. So that's why you probably end up needing to do something like this. Because it gets to the point where it's not worth the centre of your line doesn't really do the job of isn't really the centre of your line anymore it's now the flank of two separate defensive positions so this unit of line infantry is fortunately is marching I was going to say fortunately marching fairly alone up to our line So it means that line infantry plus this line infantry would be enough to, you know, it would stop. It, it's not just my militia engaging the infantry. They do have support, so they shouldn't get too chewed up. So you guys, you know, line, line, line. I might actually do something more like this. Being aware of the fact that they've got some troops coming through the gate. But if I push up, I can regain a bit of initiative on the right flank here.
Because right now, yeah, right now they will run around and filibuster and waste time. And especially if this guy's just going to be firing round shot, then it doesn't really matter. There you go. Let's get the 33rd evolved facing off against the 29th. go. Nice leap. Damn. There we go. So even if they lose on the... Even if there's nothing going on on the right flank, we can at least get into a position where we dominate the right. Yeah, look at look, mostly procrastinate. Like, look at this. I'm not even doing anything. See, so at least by pushing up here, we're getting involved. That's probably why I'm going to take these guns and have them go go back to putting a breach into the wall. Marines. Let's get my general over on this flank to help out, because the left is a mess. Mm, they're getting shot to pieces out here. This is what your king has asked you to do. He's asked you to die for no reason. I do know that militia's come back. So let's do this. And let's do that. Take you guys and do something like this. So you guys are enough to face off against the militia. And I want to get this a box, kill box, set up onto the units in the centre. So who's back here? Some infantry that's marching up. You guys just bang and charge them. Okay, you guys can now hit the sixth foot guards. Let's probably do something more like that. It's in my elite 14th regiment that has fought many battles. Shattered, but they are upset. Push up. You guys take more of a position like so. Probably backed up by another unit there. You guys are winded, but you need to get back pretty ricky tick. Yeah, look at all these cannonball bounces. That's why I need to be really careful about getting too close. Or getting my men too ahead of the guns. Let me go get these 
men are reloading. The 14th and the 32nd. Pour fire into these poor devils. You guys could probably do something like this. It's a lot of... A lot of men. But I think it's pretty beautiful. Now you guys get into position. Let's go like that. Oh, they almost made it to the guns. Okay. These guys have been sat around being idle for too long. Just stop the guns now entirely because they're not super useful. There we go. A whole lot of what the Royal Esca say they were 99, they're down to two, and they can't go anywhere. It's not efficient, but I need to straighten this line out to get more men involved. Okay, the 14th, you take up position right here. The 32nd will back you up, fire it well off. 33rd, climb up this section of the wall here. Come on, the 13th, you haven't had a good chance to open, to clean your guns out recently. Switch as they're swarming towards you in a massive pile. get you over there the 32nd will scale the wall oh no actually you two can both just run through the 33rd can well no looks like they are going to uh, make a show of it charge the general's bodyguard is my my it's all going to hell for the French here god men are just falling in droves desperately holding on but it's not enough guard mode off for these guys Yeah, we're going to kill their general. Where is he? There he is. Oh, I've got one unit of militia left. Poor devils. So many of these guys' guns just didn't go off. His didn't go off again. Oh, doesn't even matter. these 
guys, their job is to... There you go, we've secured the gatehouse. We're engaging the general. See if you can kill him though. Both these units are very elite. There he goes. The French Imperialist Swain. There we go. Complete rout of French forces. Beautiful. So we did lose... We lost someone. No, oh, no, we didn't have anyone, I don't think. There wasn't a full army, but there we go. Ah, oh, we were going to attack, but they then uh, sallied, I remember. Do you want to intercept that Prussian force? Absolutely, I do. Chew them up and then chase them down. Well, we can chew them up now, chase them down in our turn. So it's... Yeah, it's... Theoretically quicker? Maybe. <laughs> Let them have the town. Let them have to push through it, though, to achieve what they want to achieve. That's what I say. Rather than have them... Rather than having our force be piecemeal spread out, let's have it concentrated at the back. That's what makes sense, I think. So they have artillery. Can you guys hit it with round shot? Nope. You guys are going to try to engage, but that would be a hell of a shot. Could you think all those buildings to get through? Um, but let's speed up time because it's enough. It's a uh, as a battle, it's, the onus is on them to attack us because we've intercepted them. Just keep bombarding them, I suppose. So we've got one regiment of horses pushing up. Although I expect what's going to happen is they're going to form their line and then they're going to decide to uh, to come after us. The gendarmerie is now the only unit within range of... Okay, you guys. Specifically going after our guns. So let's let them reload. Okay, I want them to reload with canister shot before firing. I mean, yeah, they've completely changed once they've... Okay, if I stop firing again... <laughs> they seem to only activate when my cavalry are uh, firing. My artillery are firing, sorry. Killed one gun team. Gendarmerie coming along on the left. Lance of guards on the right. So you probably want to get you... Start dropping some carcass shot loveliness onto them and you can start to knock some onto them. Mm, Desert Warriors don't have enough as much range as regular militia. Chipped a few of them away. There they charge as they run along our line. Blast the 12th with canister shot. Because you guys are just going to... Well, square... African infantry can't drop into square. Fortunately, that's not the unit they were after. Not enough to break the square either. Pretty 
probably just speed up time right now because we've pushed back their main offensive. We've pushed back their cavalry probes. Ooh, some lovely carcass shot there. But yeah, this is what we wanted to do. Uh, I didn't want to push on them. I wanted to wait until my... Uh, I want. See, right now they're in no formation. They're In order to progress through the town, it's completely bottlenecked them. And they've... They're just not in a good way. Whereas me... My men are going to be in a great position to uh, engage them. You might even... Eh, I was about to say, are these militia going to push down against the enemy positions in the distance? I don't think so. Uh, where's my cavalry? Let's get you over here. And you can start to interfere with those blunderbuss shotgunners. Just engage the general's bodyguard. This kind of means I need to focus fire over here with my artillery. General's been routed. Probably actually keep both of you guys firing round shot. Because these guys will likely need to do something like that. Counter attack is on. Yeah, they're just desert warriors, but they're enough. Just keep dropping significant amounts of musket fire on them. Shattered. We've got light infantry, so you guys push up. You guys hold your fire for now. Should be doing good against these blunderbuss shotgunners, although let's get my native African infantry over here. The cavalry has now been committed. So these skirmishes are sadly not going to be able to be used to their full potential because they're deliciously within musket range. Could probably fire actually with those guys. They're on a slight raise. It's not really needed. Okay, send the light cavalry down. I am aware of the spikes. Send my general down there as well. Now the gendarmerie is here. Intercept, intercept them with my infantry would be the objective. There we go. They're only gendarmerie, so they're not great. Okay, you guys push right up to here to engage the fry corps. Let's get my artillery to engage them as well. 
Look at that, they've actually done quite a good job at building this into a defensive little pocket for their guns. Okay, you guys need to get around the corner on the mess. So you might go after some of, some of their infantry rather than the cavalry. Okay, now charge. Right, get closer then. Now charge, they're going to slowly shuffle their way in. Too bad, really. I suppose I shouldn't have sent my cavalry in to fight the artillery. I should go after them, really. Because they're closer to the edge of the map. And my general can come over here and take care of the gunners. Stop firing. Yeah, now they're not winning. Well, it says they are winning, but... They're going to pay for that. Instead, you chase down some of these grenadier folk. There you go. Speed up times is just the gunners that are left. We can run. Continue. We can safely run through the spikes that direction to chase after the gunners. It's running back the other way that might have caused some problems. There we go. Oh, just those grenadiers now. Nope, stay away, infantry. Hot fire. Two grenadiers left. There's the last one. Kill him. Yes. There we go. So the effects of losing that naval battle uh, don't matter because I just killed the army that they deposited. I mean, that's pretty good, I think. Ooh, another defense, eh? Ooh. Oh, I'm probably going to have to leave this to the next episode. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I've already fought two battles on the trot. I need a break just for my brain, just to go and uh, get a cup of coffee, have a drink and come back. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We haven't even got any offences on the way yet. So we've fought two defensive battles here. Now let's just destroy another big block of Spanish troops. See you, everyone. <laughs>